Hi everyone, I'm hopeful that all you will be fine. In the last session, we have learned how we can actually check our validate the user existence in, in our Zoom account, okay, using the user's email, okay. And we have also tested that with a different data. And now we are keep continuing with the Zoom users REST API. And in this session, we will learn how we can actually get the user's ZEC token, okay. So ZEC means a Zoom access key token, okay. So for that, we first need to create a const variable for that relative path, we name it user Z token, and we need to use the string interpolation and we pass users. And this endpoint only works with the OAuth flow, okay? And you need to pass me uh, because we are going to use the access token of that user. So we pass me and at the end we set Z, okay? So basically, Zag token is needed when an other uh, user will be join or host the meeting on behalf of another user. Okay. So if you have any need like that scenario, then you can get the user Zag token from the user's REST APIs. Okay. And as per my experience, on the practical time usage of this token is if you have a bot uh, with the Zoom. And that port is going to access the streams from the real time in the from the meetings. Okay, streams uh, bot is going to access the audio live stream, video live stream, chat, and screen share, and furthermore. Okay, so if if you have a bot, then you have a practically usage or need of this Zach token there. Okay, so basically it is a Zoom access key. Okay. So then we just need to export this and we say here, we first need to remove the in and we say user Z token, we need to remove the white space, we need to format the code and inside the zoom user helper, first we need to import the users Z token, okay? And at the bottom, we need to create a helper function for them. We say const and user Zach, and we need to set async, and we just only call that. Okay. Here we first need to build the Zach token or user Zach URI, and we use a string interpolation, and we say API base URI append user Zach token. Okay, and this token have expiry limit only five minutes. Okay, and for access to this endpoint, you must be have a user Z read scope on your OAuth, OAuth app on a Zoom marketplace. Okay, so this scope must be selected. Okay, and this API have a light rate limit. Light rate limit means if you are requesting with the pro plan, then you can request 30 requests per second. And you can also review for the business. I think there's a 60 for the business plus plan. Okay. So let's continue. And then we need to build the access. And here we set the const data await and access. Set the URL and we get the ZAC URI method will be get and we header need to pass here we need to get access the header uh, access token from the process okay so we say authorization and we need to use a string interpolation we say here parent and we say process dot env dot access token okay and then H and sorry, uh, then and we say response, and we need to return the response, and we say error. We need to return the error, and at the bottom we need to return the data. If you are new with the Zoom OAuth flow and you have no idea, then just please. I'll go back and watch my OAuth flow videos from this series and just come back here. Okay. So basically inside the helpers, here you can see inside the API, 
I'm just applying um, inside the redirect using the auth flow. I'm just setting the access token inside the process.env.access token. Okay. It's not a good programming practice, but for the sessions, we are keep moving with that. Okay. So I, I have just used that here. So you can see. Okay. So after that, we need to export this and we say here user Zec. Okay. And then we just need to format the code, plus the breakpoints here and here. And inside the API, we need to hide this controls. And at the bottom, we need to create an API endpoint. We call app.gate and we say slash API zoom slash users. And we name it Zach. And we say async, look as the response. And I think we have already imported, but if no, we do not have. So we first import user Z. And then we have say let user Z token. Okay, and await user Z. Okay, response, response not JSON, user Z token. Semicolon, semicolon, format the code and just need to enter this one. Okay. And now we first must be see inside our marketplace app that we have a uh, user Zach scope, user Zach read scope. So we can see here. Submitting token. So inside the meeting, I think inside the user. So we have selected view user Zach token. So we have selected this already. So we need to first authorize. So we say here local host port for thousand API zoom authorize. Okay, enter. We have a app allow that allow. We have a token and now just let's test the endpoints. We say users and Z. We hit enter. And inside the response, we have a data and token. Okay, so this is the token. I'm hopeful that you have uh, enjoyed this session and we have got this session. If you have any query regarding this session, then just please place your comments inside the video comment section. And also you can share your comments and suggestions regarding this third party series by my shared contact details, either on my email, either on my WhatsApp, okay? So take care, bye-bye.